Imagine a world where the power you need to communicate, cook, drive, or work is available wherever you need it. You'll simply pay to use it. Welcome to the new world of wireless power. Wireless charging is the coolest thing on earth. <laughs> Technology that will charge our devices and have us throwing away the power cord. Beth Meyer, Vice President of PowerMats Global Marketing, says this technology has been a long time coming. Wireless charging is something that people have wanted for a long time. It's a complete evolution and being able to get rid of all those cords that are such a hassle. And we're so tied to our devices today. That smartphone is everything for you. It's not just your phone, it's your email, your photos, all your contacts. And if that's out of power, you kind of feel like your life's a little bit out of power. Here's how it works. Each mat or charging station has an induction coil inside that creates an electromagnetic field. A secondary induction coil that's in your device takes the field and turns it into energy, thus charging the battery. Engineers call it inductive coupling. Sounds clinical, but really all it means is that electromagnetic energy is flowing to your mobile device, charging the battery without any wires at all, simply by placing it on the charging mat. Companies like PowerMat, Duracell, Fulton Innovation, Sanyo, Energizer, and more have all started making wireless power solutions. We have an induction battery, which you, for the example, this is our Xbox 360 battery. Real simply, just slide phone right into the base, put the top on that we've got a protective cover. PowerMat lets you charge all your favorite devices without the tangle and hassle of cords. You're able to charge three devices at the same time. There's always two parts to the system, so you have a mat and then a receiver that you pair to your device. And when you place it on the surface of the electro hub, anywhere on the surface, you're charging the controller. When you place it down on the charger, it lights up, the blue light says it's charging, phone battery shows it's ready to go. You simply drop and charge. You're good to go. And you're set. It's that simple. Each solution is similar, yet without a standard, there could be millions of mats and batteries that don't work with other brands. And that's why the Wireless Power Consortium was created. For the supreme consumer convenience, for a truly global wireless charging system, you do need a standard, and Qi is the one backed by industry leaders. The Qi standard enables devices to be compatible with any charging station that uses it. Just take these products, it has the Qi standard in it, so regardless of what manufacturer or what brand, put it on, it charges. So it doesn't matter what mat, it will work if it's Qi enabled. Exactly. Qi really is the big advantage here. Qi is like being a part of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Um, it's not a proprietary system, it's a system that's going to be open and you don't have to be a member of the Wireless Power Consortium to actually build a device for that. That's why we're real excited about being part of Qi, about Wireless Power Consortium and this device and what makes Energizer's uh, product so different than anybody else that's out there yet. Wireless charging isn't just for your electronic devices. We've moved into the kitchen appliances and right to a can of soup. Now all you have to do is put the can of soup onto the coil with the soup having the e-coupled packaging and voila, it's going to start warming up. Fulton Innovation took their e-coupled inductive coupling technology and applied it to the kitchen. A countertop with an e-coupled system can power devices like a blender without wires and it starts right up. No cords, no mess, starts right up. You want to move it over here, serve it to someone, there you go. You can also then take a pan on the same surface and in 30 seconds that will boil water. So now we've got water boiling and now we can take that and I can pick that up from a safety standpoint and hand it to you. Just like that? And I can put my, my hand on the counter. From the kitchen to your garage, Fulton Innovation took this Tesla Roadster and modified it so you can charge it wirelessly at the same rate it would take to charge as if you had plugged it into the wall. E-coupled technology is built into a ring in the floor that uh, when you pull the Tesla into the vicinity, it negotiates that there's something there that's ready to receive power. It negotiates the charge rate that it needs and sends only the right amount of power to charge the vehicle. Now from charging at home, think bigger. The next obvious step would be to take it with you on the go. If you are to pull your car into a shopping center, um, if that parking spot is enabled, you can receive power on the go. So you're not going to 
fully charge your car, but that 30 minutes, 40 minutes while you're shopping, that's some power. Envision an economy where we can exchange power credits to charge our cars or electronics, where an app can monitor the progress of a vehicle's charging and to have the owners pay to use those charging locations. So you have to imagine airports, uh, malls, any other kind of location where you might just want to get a little extra power. Yeah, the charge for charge infrastructure, if it's built into the device, could be done through SMS, could be done through an app. You set down and you use your credits to get a little bit more charge throughout the day. The integration of inductive charging technology continues to move forward. While automotive wireless charging may take a while to become widely adopted, the charging mats for electronics are easily accessible today. It's a life without being wired in, all with inductive wireless power. I'm Jessica Faust with Top 10 Reviews.